What is archaeoastronomy? Well, the word archaeoastronomy is two words conjoined, ar archaeology and astronomy. And so it's essentially the study of uh, how archaic cultures related to the astronomical realm. And we find a consistency when we look at ancient cultures and ancient societies from the very beginnings of recorded history right down almost to the doorstep of the modern age. Uh, all around the planet we find this consistency which is that these societies were intimately re uh, interested in um, and connected to the larger astronomical domain. They attempted to um, incorporate that astronomical understanding into their daily lives as if there was an intention there to to connect with a cosmic level of awareness by um, by transposing the astronomical relationships that they were perceiving in the sky through the course of of the months and the years and translating that to earth and how that was done was through architecture through the construction of temples, through the layout of their urban centers, um, even things as, as mundane as the building of their, their homes and their domiciles. Um, the idea would be to capture certain key moments through time, certain key events such as the rising of the sun on an auspicious day of the year, such as summer solstice, the longest day of the year, which of course provides the alignment for one of the most famous uh, archaeoastronomical uh, manifestations, which is Stonehenge, the alignment of its axis towards the, the summer solstice sunrise, the longest day of the year, where the balance of the cosmos shifts and the days which had been growing longer now start growing shorter. We find it um, prolifically manifested in ancient Egypt in the construction of their temples uh, up and down the Nile River. We find it in uh, megalithic Europe, the erection of the standing stones, of which Stonehenge is the prominent example, but one of only literally hundreds of uh, stone structures which have been documented to display um, astronomical alignments, uh, many of them uh, concerned with the motions of the sun, but also many of them concerned with the motions of the moon. A number of them seem to be aligned to key rising points of some of the uh, prominent uh, stellar phenomena such as the dog star Sirius or the Pleiades and so on. We find it manifested in Central America, in South America, both the Incan culture in South America and the Mayan culture in Central America were keenly and intensely interested in the astronomical world. Um, we find it in the um, monumental earthwork architecture of North America. We find it uh, in the Gothic cathedrals of Europe in the Middle Ages. We find it in um, uh, throughout Southeast Asia in the, in the Buddhist temples. We find the Hindu temples also incorporated astronomy. Angkor Wat is a prominent example. We find it in Malta. We find it in Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, the list goes on and on. In every few years more discoveries are being made of these ancient archetypal structures which are incorporating these key astronomical alignments and events. Now what this does is raises an interesting question. Why were ancient cultures so universally interested in almost obsessed with the motions of the heavens and the, the geometry of the heavens and translating those relationships to earth? And that is the key question that is raised by our discovery of this phenomena uh, manifesting throughout history. And that is a question we will address in subsequent um, podcasts.